All right, Shalom Makim, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Hawakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. All right, it's your brother Kanak. And I want to do this lesson, and I'm entitled a lesson. I wrote it down here. Uh, Temporary reopening of government is just a band aid to Babylon's incurable wound. Because just as of today, which today is the, I believe, the 23rd of January, you have, uh, let me let me just check, the 25th, I'm sorry. Yeah, things are moving quick. Today is the 25th of January. And, uh, and Trump, you know, DJ Trump just opened government back up. But this is only a temporary uh, reopening for three weeks while they, you know, they shuffle some things around, while they try to make some deals with each other. You know, and Babylon is pretty much being uncovered right now for Babylon's wickedness. And uh, the government being reopened, reopen, okay, uh, there's, that's going to have some type of temporary relief to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay? But that's not going to be, uh, that's not going to be that healing ointment to, you know, ultimately heal Babylon from all its problems. Okay? This is uh, the article. It says, Con Congressional Leaders Trump tentative deal to end to end shutdown plan would reopen the government for three weeks while uh, politicians and the president continue to debate border wall funding so you so-called black Hispanic and Native Americans you believe that this is going to be you know uh, another uh, a sigh of relief okay to all your woes to all your problems or you'll be able to get your check or you'll be able to get your food stamp benefits Right. But this is just a, a, a Band-Aid. All right. If you have a deadly wound, right, you have a deadly wound or right, you put a Band-Aid on it. Maybe it, it might stop the Band-Aid from, oh, I'm sorry, the wound from, you know, going into, a, you know, infection faster. But that's not going to solve the issue. OK, that's just going to give temporary relief. OK, let me bring out a couple of scriptures. This is Jeremiah 30 and 15. Now, this is talking about Jake. But now we can apply this also to, uh, to uh, Esau and his kingdom. This is Jeremiah 30 and 15. Why cries thou for thy affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquities. Because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. You see, the Lord, he is the one who has done all these things to Babylon. He has made Babylon uh, a laughing stock. He has made Babylon uh, a gazing stock to all the nations. Okay, uh, people are seeing uh, Babylon for really for what it's really worth. The scum, you know, and you so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans that trusted in Babylon, you're being confounded. But now that you know the government has been reopened, you get your checks. Okay, you think that everything's going to be all right? No, that's not. Everything is not going to be all right. Okay, this is just a temporary fix to a problem. That cannot be solved. The only way that this problem is going to be solved is by nuclear fire. Okay, let me bring out another uh, a scripture. This is Jeremiah 51 and 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. See, Babylon right now is going through uh, it's going through uh, pain, a, a, a lot of pain right now. Look at the economy. Okay, people are stressed out. People are on drugs. You know, people are out of their mind because of that, that wine. When you go up to verse 7, it says, uh, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Yeah, the, all the nations of the, uh, of the planet Earth are mad at Babylon because they have been bamboozled into drinking, this, in, into drinking uh, Babylon's philosophies. Now, now they have this incurable uh, uh, wound that cannot be... Uh, that cannot be fixed. Okay? Let me go back down to verse 9. We have we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. See, uh, you know, Trump reopening government, you know, the politicians, you know, coming to somewhat of a temporary relief. Okay, for you, you Babylonians here in America, that's not gonna stop America from being destroyed. Really, that's just gonna hasten America being destroyed. And we're going to bring out that scripture when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. 
Okay, because we're still we're still in a time of sudden destruction. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. You see, quantitative quantitative easing. You know uh, these different uh, severance packages. You know, opening reopening government. All right, to 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 uh, have the illusion that everything is all right. Forsake her. Let us go everyone into his own country. For a judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And going back to this article, you know, uh, go government government is going to totally be shut down. Furthermore, all right, uh, the Most High, he's going to shut this place down. And he's shutting this place down as we speak. All right, uh, uh, famines, pestilences, all these things are co coming. You know, 2nd Ezra is the 15th chap chapter. Second Ezra is the 16th chapter. All these things are coming to pass, okay, here in America. Just as they're coming to pass, or they're already uh, taking place out there in Venezuela. Let's bring up this scripture and let's uh, just wrap it up. This is a quick lesson. I just wanted to speak about, you know, uh, you know, the reopening of government. You know, people will now have a sigh of relief. But really, this is just a temporary... You know, this is just a band-aid for this incurable wound that Babylon has has uh, created, which the Lord, he has, the Lord is the one who has created this, this wound. Let's bring out this scripture. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, see, and this is a, a form of, you know, government or the American government saying peace and safety. Oh, everything's going to be all right. We're going to reopen. We're going to work things out. All right. Don't worry about it. You're going to you're going to be able to get your check. All right. You're going to be able to feed your family. You see. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. This is the time where you have to, uh, you know, really be vigilant. And really find out what, what what's going on. And we have more uh, rumors of war with uh, with Venezuela, with Russia. You see, all these things are taking place uh, right before your eyes. And this uh, reopening of this, you know, so-called government, this is just uh, a band-aid to the, you know the things that are really going on. All right, sudden destruction is coming. As travail upon a woman with child, they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you like a thief. See, so we're, so we're not going to be overtaken like this world is going to be overtaken. Jake that's uh, settled on their leads. Jake that's complacent in this society. Okay? So I just wanted to, you know, say that just real quick in the spirit. All praise and honor and glory goes to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakwada.